In this video, we will see how to do a level order traversal in a binary tree. So we have a binary tree and these are the levels. So this is level 0, level 1 and level 2. And this is at level 0, level 1 and level 2. So the output here will be, you have to print a list at 0th level and here it will be always 0 or 1. If the tree is empty, it's 0, otherwise it will be 1 then uh, 2 5 and then 1 4 6 level by level in a separate list and finally a bigger list of all smaller lists so this is the job how we will do it so let's take a pause so don't forget to check my rust crash course on hello knowledge center dot graphy dot com so Rust is a powerful system programming language directed towards reliability, speed, memory safety and parallelism. So if you are programming in systems, then Rust is one of the newer and safer versions of C++. So don't forget to check that out. Now let's come back to the problem. So here the task is to print the level order. So if you have uh, solved a few problems on uh, graphs where you have uh, studied uh, breadth first search, then you have already solved this problem there. If you have watched any of my earlier lessons on graphs using this, then also you have already know the concept. So what I will do here, uh, I will just uh, understanding the concept is not a big thing. Only thing is that while writing the code, uh, you have to be careful. So we are given the node, the pointer to the root node. Now uh, there are uh, multiple ways people uh, write this uh, breadth first search approach where we use a queue. So the thing is that uh, you insert the root. So now in the queue we have three. So uh, the thing, uh, the inequality, the truth that we have to maintain at the end of each loop is this. So uh, we have to print or we have to insert all the nodes at a given level into a list so in this example we saw that we were creating a smaller lists and then combining into a bigger list so let's say we are at any given level and we are accumulating nodes at that level and putting it in a list or a vector and once we have we have reached the end of that level that is to the rightmost node we insert it into a bigger list which is the result it may have already a few levels 0 1 and now this is let's say level 2 this we insert here and then we start processing next level so let's say so first we insert 3 into the queue so a tree will always have one node so at 0th level we will always have one element if the tree is empty it will have 0 so what we will do uh, the outer loop will be similar to BFS while queue is not empty not empty then process keep processing it we have not yet printed all the nodes so what we will do we will beforehand calculate the size or count of nodes in the queue that will be queue dot size or length of queue if you are writing in python so before this loop we had inserted root so it's this count will be one so uh, why this count is necessary uh, one thing is that uh, when you are inserting in the queue, so first 3 will be there, then you pop 3 and insert 2 and 5. Then you, when you pop 2, you also insert its children. So you insert 1. So now you lose track of uh, which nodes are at which level. Because uh, at this point of time, the queue has 5 as well as 1. 5 is at level 1, uh, 1 is at level 2. So some people insert markers. But we will not do that. That's not required. That's unnecessary. So uh, when we have inserting this uh, uh, vector to the list, we have finished a level. So uh, whatever are the remaining nodes in the queue, that will be the number of nodes we have to process now. So we will have a loop for i equal to 0 to count minus 1. And we can never insert two levels below. So while we are processing these nodes, we will be only inserting their children and not below that. So till these elements are finished processing, we will never process any of these. We will never pop any of these. So there is no question of inserting any node below this next level. 
so and before uh, printing the first node we had calculated the count so we will process this many nodes now we know that this many nodes are at the current level which we are going to process so this loop will run for exactly that many time and we will pop nodes exactly that many times so here what we will do we will pop it from the beginning and if it has left we push into the queue if it has right then push right into the queue and finally insert it into a local vector so there will be one smaller vector or we will call it level nodes so level nodes dot insert or push this n so this is all we will do and we will do it count times so now now at the end of this loop this level nodes will have exactly this many elements and then we will insert result dot push this level nodes and then uh, again when it reaches here this will be reinitialized and again we will follow the same procedure and while the queue is empty we will come out of this loop so this is how we will do it so let's uh, run through one example here so let's say we have three so we have three two five one four six one four six so first three is in the queue count is one and queue is not empty so we come into it and we have a vector empty vector we insert three into it and pop three from it so now queue is empty and if it has left we insert into it so queue is now two if it has right insert into it so two five now again count is two so three is now inserted into the bigger result so what we will do we will run this loop two times so we pop two and insert into local vector and if two has a left we insert it here so now we have one here two is popped out right it does not have so we stop and then we pop five because count was two so we pop two times and five we put here and now this loop will end it has processed two elements now we insert two and five here and we had also inserted four and six while popping five so now this has one four and six and count is three so we will run this loop three times push one it does not have left right push four it does not have left right uh, or rather pop pop six it does not have left or right and then again insert it to the result one four six and now the queue is empty so this outer loop will end and we will print this value so now let's write the code for this if you don't get it just pause for a moment and go through this yourself and you will understand it or maybe once you go through this code it will be much more clear so this is the problem so let's first write it in c++ so if not root then return empty vector So this is a queue of tree node pointers. Let's call it Q. And uh, while
so if it has left node then insert it into the queue And then we insert uh, uh, this value of node to this level nodes. And let's see if it passes or not. Okay, so this equal to should not be there. Oh, so I don't know why I added that. this does not match so let's see what is the problem so it's printing empty it should not print empty so we have not inserted the root node here so this will always return empty and this loop will not process uh, root let's try again Uh, now it seems to work. So let's submit and the solution is accepted. Now we will write the same thing in Python. result and q both are empty so you can just write while q you can also write uh, while length of q is greater than 0 but uh, this would be faster than that this also works
and the python solution is also accepted